A significance or p-value less than 0.05, less than our acceptable alpha error of 0.05, allows us to reject the null hypothesis that all the means are equal and accept the alternative hypothesis that at least two of the means from these different groups are different. In order to determine which of the means are different, we'll have to perform another test called post hoc tests. Post hoc is Latin for after the fact. We only perform these tests if we've satisfied ourselves that we can reject the null hypothesis. So we're going to go ahead and perform a post hoc test. We've satisfied ourselves that we can reject the null hypothesis and that at least two of the means are different. Now let's go back and determine which two of the means. Analyze, compare means, one-way analysis of variance. This time we're going to select the button post hoc. We have a number of different types of tests that we can perform to determine which means are different. For our purposes now we're going to choose Bonferroni. We'll say continue and we'll complete the analysis. SPSS presents us with a new data table. In this new data table, it compares each of the two groups individually, it compares Fred to Jim, and finds that the probability being wrong if we reject the null hypothesis is 0.319 which is too high for us to reject that null hypothesis. It finds Fred versus Alice, the probability is 0 0.045. This is less than our acceptable level of error, 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis that the mean for Fred and the mean for Alice are the same and accept the alternative hypothesis that they are not equal. On the other hand, none of the other pairings, Fred and Jim, Alice and Jim, meet that criteria. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis for any of those means are different.